Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can deploy your Python Flask application on Heroku and use it for free. For getting started, Heroku is free and if you wish to continue its service, you can opt for any paid plan on Heroku. So let's get started. For this, you will need an active Heroku account, a GitHub account. Now, on the development side, create a folder and open it into any code editor of your choice. I will use Visual Studio Code. Now, you need to create a virtual environment it is not compulsory but it's good practice to use virtual environment for different python projects i will use conda in my case let me activate my environment also make sure you have installed flask and GUNICON that is GUNICON in order to successfully deploy Python Flask application on Heroku. So let's get started. I will create a new file called processwebhook.py. Uh, I create Python Flask application especially for Google Dialogflow and in Google Dialogflow it is called a webhook so I give the name uh, processwebhook.py I have a sample code ready a sample hello world application ready for the demonstration purpose also I have created uh, an images folder and inside that I have a favicon.png any png file or any image file and I have used this app route favicon ico just to suppress the uh, warnings that it did not get the favicon ico so let's first test this web app and see if it's working or not so it's working let's check it on a browser okay it gives hello world output so this means that the app is working now in order to deploy a python flask web app on heroku you need two things one requirements.txt and proc file from requirement.txt file heroku will understand which packages to install and from proc file it will understand that which python file to run when someone hits the url so let's create a requirements.txt file let's use freeze and then requirement.txt requirements.txt make sure you uh, type it correct okay unknown command freeze oh oops I think it's okay it's freeze I misspelled it second thing let's create a proc file and inside the proc file you need to write this one line web call on gunicon and the file name that you want to run whenever your URL is hit in our case it's process webhook don't put uh, the extension dot pi let's save this 
make sure process dot web hook process dot web hook okay uh, now we will go to github i'll create a new repository heroku python youtube demo let's say i'll write this is a repository for my youtube channel you can make the repository public or private uh, don't initialize the repository with readme git ignore or a license file just create a plain repository now inside my application inside my visual studio code i'll write git init okay then git add dot to add everything then git commit dash m let's say initial commit then i'll copy this then git push dash u origin to main oh sorry uh, i write uh, main but i haven't changed the branch let's say git branch dash m main now hopefully it will push all the content on git repository let's check it okay all the files are there let's go to heroku inside new create a new app now there are two ways to deploy the app one is this web interface second uh, using heroku client i usually use this web interface it's easy and clean let's say heroku youtube demo this will be your url for the app let's hit create app after this point you can use heroku client and follow these instruction or you can just hit github and connect your github to the heroku and search let's say i search heroku uh, this is the repository heroku python youtube demo let's connect that repository okay let's deploy the main branch it will take some time to uh, just deploy the whole app from github to heroku okay our app is deployed let's see if it is working or not okay it gives output hello world so that means the app is working one more thing uh, inside settings you can see configuration words and you can use any key value pair here and inside your a uh, python application you can use that environment variables using process dot env command and you can search more on that on internet so i hope uh, this gives you a clear idea on how you can deploy your python flask application on heroku platform Thank you for watching. Peace.